Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 4 here bringing us more Battlefield Hardline. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying my gameplays lately. And by the way, this gameplay, I will only be using a sniper. This is one of my few times that I will be actually showing uh, some of my sniper skills so you guys can see. As you can see in the in the gameplay, it's going down pretty much well, getting back to back kills like crazy. And then this guy is my first time I've ever gotten like three head markers on him. It's just like, what the fuck? I, I think he had like a health pack on the floor. Um, anyways, I would like to talk about the snipers in Battlefield Hardline now. The snipers are super easy to use. I've been using it in Battlefield 4 before the release of Battlefield Hardline, and it's a lot more complex. Uh, the scopes are quite different. It's a lot uh, more difficult to totally aim. The, the bullet drop was actually a little bit further, but... Um, I kind of couldn't get the sniping right, you know, I couldn't get it, uh, you know, to work when I was playing Battlefield 4, so you mostly see me with the assault rifles or SMGs, um, but compared to this game, I am mixing it up, I'm like using snipers, assault rifles, SMGs, and look at this, I'm doing pretty much well with the sniper, getting them all, t all good, you know, with, a, with one, hot, one shot kill, um, and by the way, this is the part where I die, my only death in the whole game, that guy sneaked up behind me and he walks into my freaking la laser trip mine, whatever it's called. And by the way, that's a good, um, you know, equipment to have there. The laser trip mine is kind of like, like a like a claymore. And I miss claymores, you know, in, in uh, any kind of military game. But uh, we now have laser trip mines here in Battlefield Hardline. And it's super cool to use because you can stick them anywhere you want. Uh, in the walls, the roof. That's what I usually do though. When I go inside a house, I usually place them on, on, the, on the ceiling. Because people can only be able to, to see it all. And the laser can only go so far, you know, to the floor. And uh, it started disappearing, right? So people won't notice it at all. So, and uh, that's how I work with the laser tramp line. I'll be showing some future gameplays so you guys can see how to actually put them down. Because I know a lot of people can, will just put them down straight to, to the floor. And it's going to just point straight up. That's not going to work. I'm telling you. There's other ways you can do it in more sneakier ways in order for you to uh, have more success uh, using the laser tramp line. Um, another thing, this gameplay, you know, everything, everything was going on. A lot of, a lot of commotion, a lot of chaos, a lot of action. Man, I, I miss this kinds of gameplays. You know, since Modern Warfare 3, I never went to something like this before, like that long. Uh, like since 2011, I think that's the last time I played Modern Warfare 3 like full time. So, um, so yeah, it's it's super fun. I recommend buying the game. Buy right now. It's not because oh, you know, he's probably sponsored by EA or something. Like, nah, man. Fuck no, you know, I was looking something awesome with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I didn't get it, and now that I got Battlefield Hardline, psh, man, I'm having so much fun, I'm having fun leveling up, so, um, I know a lot of you guys are, like, pissed off about tanks not being in the game, but hey, it's all about gun skill, it's super cool, at least nobody's camping all over the place, except, like, me, like, with sniping, but, <laughs> uh, that's the only thing you're gonna be able to find, that's just snipers, and that's the only thing you have to deal with, with from now on. So, I mean, by the way, also heavy armored cars, and it's going to take you a while to take them down, but it's not as bad as tanks, you know, it's not as bad as SWAT tanks. So, be relief about that, because, you know, a lot of people tend to camp with those in Battlefield 4. And, um, I'm getting my shots, like, on freaking check right here, as you can see, two back-to-back, -back, uh, headshots. It was super awesome. I don't know how I pulled it out, but I'm getting a lot better. Hopefully, I can buy already my next sniper, so you guys can see more, uh, more gameplays about these, because it's pretty awesome to defend, uh, one of the objectives here in the heist and by the way this is heist not something else that you think of you know just in case you're wondering because i know most of you guys don't even play this game don't even know what the hell's going on this is heist mode all right i forgot what what's the map uh, is called and um but it's pretty awesome i love this map it's good for long range distances and i can keep my away from uh people using the shotguns and bullshit you know i, I can just keep my distance uh so far you know it's, pre it's been pretty good just buy the game guys I recommend it and um, well that's it that's all I wanted to talk about I wanted to show you guys my cool uh, sniping gameplay and by the way this little freaking uh, that little um, that little gadget that I was using right now it takes a while to put on like it has a little bit of a glitchy thing going on but it's not that, not a big deal it will actually attach to the edge but it takes a little bit uh, you know a few attempts to actually get it on and um, well the final moment of the game 11 tickets to go the freaking the freaking money is like right there and i didn't manage to kill the guy i was so upset i was like oh god damn it my subscribers are like 
you know, jumping up and down with by going like 14 and 1. If I would have killed that guy right there, I would have been 15 and 1. The bag would have just sit, sat right there and look out for somebody else who pick up, picks up the bag and try to kill him with a sniper. So overall, it was a badass gameplay, guys. Hopefully, you guys like it. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline tips and strategies.